Hi Taurus, welcome back. My name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. Do keep in mind guys, these reads are for entertainment purposes only. So take the parts that speak for you and leave what doesn't apply. We're just going to jump straight on in using my newest deck, uh, the Muse Tarot. So as always guys, just a quick reminder... If you enjoy this reading, let me know by liking and or subscribing here today. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, all those details will be in the show more section below. Do stick around to the very end. We will draw extra oracle and tarot cards to close out the reading. All right, let's take a look and see what is coming through for the sign of Taurus. In regards to love and relationship, the upcoming days and week, please, Spirit. Angels and guides, what messages do you have for our Taurians regarding love and relationship for the upcoming days and week? First card is Nine of Materials. We can see in this card that someone looks very free, um, independent, abundant. You could be dealing with someone who is doing really well for themselves. Or maybe this is you, Taurus. I mean, Nine of Materials, this is Nine of Pentacles in traditional tarot. So maybe you're at this uh, place in your life where you're feeling very independent, very self-sufficient, not really needing um, needing anyone or relying on anyone. You know, there's a sense of confidence and independence coming through this card. Seven of Voices. This speaks to the Seven of Swords. There may be someone around you, Taurus, who you feel hasn't been completely honest with you. Okay. You may be dealing with someone in love or relationship or connection that isn't really being honest with you here. Okay, you can sense they're not being 100% truthful with you. With the Nine of Emotions, this may be someone that you desire in love. Okay, Nine of Emotions is a wish, wish fulfillment. So you wish to get sort of closer to this person, but I feel that this person isn't being totally honest with you here okay oh we've got two cards coming through two of voices okay interesting ace of voices interesting so the two of voices tells me taurus that you don't know what to do okay you are at some kind of stalemate with this person let's just grab one more card six of materials yeah you want to be in a relationship or a connection where you're both you know, equally giving, okay, where you're both equally contributing to this relationship. And I feel here, or this connection, because that's six of materials is a six of pentacles. So this is equal give and take. This is an equal energy exchange. This is both of you energetically putting into um, this connection or a situation that you're both involved in or this relationship this is what you want this is what you desire this is what you um 
that's your wish in love to be in a relationship where you're both putting in I feel in the upcoming days and week, Taurus, with the Ace of Voices, that you're going to begin receiving clarity around this situation or around this connection. I feel with the two of voices here, there's a cloud of confusion. So it kind of brings you to this stalemate energy of, well, there's nothing I can do. I can't take action. There's nothing I can say. I'm just going to be over here with the Knight of Materials, just focusing on my life goals, focusing on my life, focusing on my day-to-day -day activities, because there's really nothing you can do. With the Seven of Voices, you sense that this person isn't being 100% honest with you about something here which is what's creating this cloud of confusion for you. Because I feel at times with the six materials, this person will come forward and they will do things to kind of show you, oh, yeah, see, like they like me or they're interested in me. But the Seven of Voices tells me I see a fox in that card and it tells me that you can't fully trust this person or you can't fully trust what you're feeling if that makes sense the two of voices also tells me here that you may be blocking your intuition as well so let's get some extra messages when it comes to this person that you're dealing with in love and relationship. I do feel with the Ace of Voices, though, that you will receive clarity around this. It could be here with the Ace of Voices ahead over heart decision. Okay, it's more about being in your logic, like be logical about this instead of being emotional about this. So it's sort of saying here, be in your logic as opposed to emotional thinking. Love yourself first. Yeah, I think, Taurus, that you really just have to put yourself first in this situation. Okay, I feel like you're halfway there. I mean, you've got the nine of materials, which uh, begins your read beautifully, which is saying, you know what? The power is in your hands. The power lays within you so you know your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so yeah I think just focusing on yourself focusing on your goals focusing on your life right now um, is where it's all at first you can't make someone want to be with you or you can't make someone love you you've got to do that Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. For some of you Taurians, you may be um, codependent or this person that you're dealing with may be codependent. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's more coming from your person. They might be the one that has the codependency issues. Maybe you don't realize that now, but with the Ace of Voices, maybe that's the clarity that you will receive. That's the insight that you will receive in the upcoming days and week. Okay, you might start to begin to notice the signs. Children. Mm, I feel like this person may have children that you're dealing with here. They may want children, um, but I feel like this is stemming from an inner child wound. Perhaps they didn't you know, get the attention that they needed as a child here. And that's coming through that codependency. Okay, let's see what else is coming through when it comes to your person. Oh, cosmic egg. I 
feel like your person is um, going through some spiritual growth or spiritual changes here because I see this the serpent or the snake is ascending up this egg. So I see that as growth. But I also see this person struggling to let you go, okay? So this snake is wrapped around this egg, holding on very tightly to this egg. It's like you're the egg, Taurus, and they, this person doesn't want to let you go. Ooh, oyster. This person could be a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But see, the oyster is the shell of this oyster is closed. Okay, this person may be closed off right now, but I feel like this they may begin to start opening up. I see this, see this light around the oyster. I see this as the magic within. So there's something that this person is holding, holding on to or holding inside, keeping very close to their chest. But it could appear here in the upcoming days and week that this person uh, begins to sort of like open up and maybe let you in. Yeah, especially if, because I mean, you do have the Ace of Voices, which is to me, that's the card of, oh, okay, insight, uh, clarity. And I feel like this person will either do or say something in the upcoming days and week that will give you clarity and insight and maybe um, see things differently here when it comes to this person, view things differently when it comes to this person. So there we have it, Taurus. That's your message. Hopefully this helped. And until next time, take care, guys.